you know, if we take it from an autoimmune perspective, I've, I've made a, a video before called why you can't cheat with autoimmune disease. And I use the example of like a mom saying, well, it's just one bite of birthday cake or, you know, one, one, one gluten cupcake once a year. And, and is that really that bad? Like I always feel worse, but I always bounce back. And it's like, well, you always have so far, but we don't know with autoimmune disease, if you've got antibodies and gluten's a trigger for you, it can cause what's called, um, here's a big nerdy term for you, but it's called epitope spreading. And if we have gluten, say, and uh, gluten is a protein in wheat, okay? And proteins are made up of amino acids. So say the amino acid sequence for, the, for, for gluten is the dog is white with black spots, okay? And a, a, a real amino acid sequence is just a bunch of letters, that, but this will make more sense to you. Um, and so that's gluten. And say the person has um, Hashimoto's disease, so they have antibodies to their thyroid. And the thyroid, the amino acid sequence of um, the thyroid protein is the dog is white with brown spots. Okay. And so you can see here, there's, there's what's called molecular mimicry. And if you just want me to stop, because there's too many terms now, we can shut it off. But I think- I love it. Keep it yeah. coming. So molecular mimicry means there's enough of it that looks similar, right? Where is it? The dog is white right? With spots. All right. So this, the dog is white, would be considered an epitope. All right. So in this person with Hashimoto's disease or thyroid autoimmunity, if they eat gluten, they get a flare of their thyroid disease or of their Hashimoto's because the body sees this epitope of gluten and this epitope of the thyroid and they shoot at the thyroid thinking it's gluten, right? Because it's the same thing. And like, you know, so your immune system shoots at your thyroid, bang, I got gluten. And his buddy's like, no, dummy, that's the thyroid. And he's like, ah, oh, right? Because they look exactly the same. Well, then, you know, you, you, you say you have a flare in thyroid symptoms, you lose a little extra hair or you're, you're more achy, a little more constipated for a couple of days, but then you go back to your normal self because most of the time you're good most of the time you're you're living the the functional medicine lifestyle but then you go to aruba or you have a birthday party and you're like i'm just gonna i just i just want to live i just want to enjoy life i just want to have a a, a a cupcake a gluten cupcake with enjoy life chocolate chips in it and <laughs> see what i did there so <laughs> this time you have epitope spreading and you don't know when it'll happen but now the immune system sees width and spots as the same. And that epitope has now spread. So now it, it, it's now you have antibodies looking for this part and this part, and you can't, we don't know how to delete memory cells or antibodies right now. So once you've tipped over, you're there. So now you're like, hey, I've always bounced back after two days, but ever since I had that cupcake, I haven't been able to bounce back. And it's like, yeah, that's that's the, you can't cheat part. You know, you, you, you get away with it most of the time, but we don't know when you won't get away with it. 